I recently took up a side project designing a new photography website for a friend of mine. And while I was working on it, it occurred to me that I needed a way to hide the website from public view while I was working on it. You may have also wondered how to do this yourself. Now, of course, you could keep all of your pages as drafts while you're working on them, but while I was collaborating with my friend on this project, it just didn't seem all that practical. You can, of course, check the box which asks search engines not to index your pages, but this is absolutely no guarantee of privacy and not the level of security that I was looking for. Then, of course, I considered our password protected categories plugin from Barn2, but it's not actually normally for this use case. Typically, it's used for protecting posts and categories of different posts. But after checking with my team, I learned that there is actually a little workaround we can use to categorize our pages and then use this plugin to actually hide those page categories. We just need the help of a custom fields plugin and any page or category of pages can be restricted using a password or limited to certain users and roles, which is the best option in my particular case. So for those of you who are still watching, I'll walk you through exactly how to set that up right now. For this tutorial, I need to install two plugins. First is the aforementioned password protected categories plugin from Barn2. Now, as it is a premium plugin, you'll need to purchase a copy from the Barn2 website. The link is below in the description and it does come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you do have the option to test it out and let us know if it's not for you. Once you have the plugin, upload the file to WordPress. And after installing it, you can add your license key in the setup wizard and click activate. And then you can skip the rest of the setup wizard or you can add your license key on the main settings page here. The second plugin is called Easy Post Types and Fields. But note that any custom post type plugin should work for this. I'm just using this one as it's also made by Barn2 and will definitely do the job for us. Once you've activated this plugin, then you can skip the setup wizard and go straight to post types and click on manage. Then click on other post types and you'll see here pages. Click on taxonomies and click add new to create a page category like the one I have here. I'll click on edit so you can see how it's made. We'll give this the singular name page category and plural page categories. And then check this box to make it hierarchical and click on save or update. Now, after saving, you should see a new menu item under pages called page categories. Here you can add a new page category and call it private so it's easy to identify. And then at the bottom here, you can see the visibility section, which is added by the password protected categories plugin. At the moment set to public, we can switch that to protected, scroll down. And if we add password protection, we can enter a password or multiple passwords if we want to. Then we also have the option to add different user roles, such as the administrator, and we can add specific users, such as myself. If you have all of these checked, then all of these can be used to bypass the security. But if you only select one option, for example, then here only administrators will be able to access this page category. Then we'll click on add new page category. Over here, we can see and edit this page category at any time. Scrolling down, we still have the same visibility options as before, which we can update at any time. The last step is to go to our WordPress pages and then categorize them. If you're doing this for all of your pages, I recommend using the bulk actions. Choose the page category we set up as private and click update. Now, don't forget to test the privacy of your setup. I recommend opening a new incognito window and entering your URL, your public facing URL, and checking that the security still applies. So in this case, the plugin has redirected me from the public page to the WordPress login page, but I can change that in the plugin settings. Let's take a quick look. If I go back to my password protected categories settings page, this is under settings and protected categories, if you're wondering, 
then I can change some of these settings here. If I want to, I can create a central login page, and I can also update things like the password expiry time and the title of the login page. This is also the message that can be displayed and the password label, the main option we need to look at. When a user is logged out, will we show them a 404 error, the WordPress login page, as I just showed you before, or we can show them a custom page. Now I did set up a custom page and I called it site under maintenance, which you can see here, and I'll click on save changes. Then when users are logged out, they will see a page which looks something like this. But note that if you're using password protection, then users who are not logged in and require a password will see a page something like this. And I set up this page to show you an example of how not all pages need to be protected at once. So this page is still accessible. Now, if you want to remove the pages from this private category, Annoyingly, you do have to do it individually because when you try the bulk actions, I'll just show you this real quick. It shows that it's unchecked, but when you click update, it doesn't actually remove anything from the private page category. So you just have to go into each one individually, click on edit and uncheck this box and then click save. I'm not sure if that's going to get updated at some point or if there's some kind of issue there but that's the solution I have for you right now. Now, the great thing about this setup is that you can keep using it even after your site has launched. Whenever a page is under maintenance, you can add it to the private category and it'll once again be hidden. And even better, you can still use this password protected categories plugin for hiding your normal WordPress posts or categories. This allows you to create private client areas for sharing content. For example, I'll be showing my friend how to create private photo albums that he can share with his clients, who can then access the pictures with a password that he can send to them. If you would also like to learn how to do that, then watch this video next. And to get the plugin from today, try this link here. And of course, thanks for watching.